There may be times when you want to merge customer accounts in your Shopify store, whether a customer specifically asks you to do this or whether you just want to do it to clean up the back end of your Shopify store. Here's how to do it. First, we're going to click into customers on the left hand side. First, I'm going to show you on this page where you could merge the customers or how you could merge the customers. And I'm going to be merging these two in these examples. And I gave this one kind of an odd name with the two after the first and last name, just so I can show you a few extra things later on. So first, you could click just one if you want to. And then you'll see down below, this little pop-up will appear. You're going to hit those three dots. And then you could hit Merge Customer. And then it will pop up where you can search a customer to merge the two accounts. Now, I'm not going to merge this one yet just because I'm going to do that a little later on a different screen. But it would look the same how I'm going to do it. So now I'm going to go back. And I want to show if you click two customers on this screen. And you could search customers up here. Let's say you look for the same first name. But if I select two... And then if we go near the bottom again to click those three dots. Now instead of just saying merge customer, it says merge customers. So then we can click that. And it will bring you to this page that gives you more information on merging the customers. Now I'm going to go back again. And I'm going to click into this second account. And I do want to say I put fake addresses in the ones I'll be sharing in this video. But if we go up to this more actions button, we can click that. And then here you can hit merge customer. And then from this screen, we're back to that screen where we can search a customer to select one to merge with this one. So then I've typed in Lindsay Tall to get that other account, the Lindsay 2 Tall 2. I'm going to select that one. Now this is the same sort of screen that pops up when we were on that previous screen where I checkmarked two at once and then went down to merge customers. This is the same exact sort of screen. So on here, let's say you pick the wrong customer. You can go back and you can change the customer. I'm just going to reselect the same one. And then down here, you can view some merge details. So if we hit under addresses, if we hit show more, it will show all the addresses linked with both accounts. Here it is saying, are they, or is either one subscribed to email or texting? And then it's showing the gift cards associated with both accounts because those will also be merged. It's showing the tags. And then it's just saying down here, there were no notes, meta fields, discounts, or tax exemptions from the customers being merged. If we go up here in orders, it will show the orders from both customers. And it even shows draft orders. So now I'm going to close out of this part. So now if we click into edit contact information, this one will pop up where you can select which one you want to be in the new account. So this is why I kind of put the weird name in the one of those accounts. Because in the first name, I can select Lindsay or Lindsay2. I'm just going to select Lindsay. For last name, I could select Tall or Tall2. I'm going to select Tall. You have the choices between the email addresses of the accounts. I'm just going to leave that one as is. And then the default addresses, you can also select which one you want to be the default address on the new account. One thing to keep in mind is that whatever the email address you select is, that will be the one that your customer will log into their account with or they will set up an account under that email address. So I think this all looks good. I'm going to hit save. You'll just see this note down here, customer data like orders, addresses, notes, tags, meta fields, gift cards, discounts, and tax settings will also be merged. And now everything looks good. I'm going to hit merge. And it's asking to confirm it because you cannot undo it. So I'm going to hit confirm. And now this is the new account that has the information from both those accounts merged into one. So I just went back onto the customers page because I wanted to show that now there's only one Lindsay Tall account. So this one below it is a different account. It's not that Lindsay 2 Tall 2 account. So now both of those accounts are just in this one account. And now I just want to go over a few things in the Shopify Help Center really quickly. So here it is saying what all merges into one profile. So the orders, draft orders, addresses, email address, phone number, name, notes, tags, tax settings, timeline events, credit cards, customer accounts, gift cards, and discounts. And if we go down to the limitation, so it's just saying once they are merged, it cannot be reversed. If the profiles include notes, the combined notes must be less than or equal to 5,000 characters, including spaces. If the profiles have tags, then the combined tag must be less than or equal to 250 tags. If the customer subscribed to email and text marketing in one profile, but not in the other, then the merged profile is subscribed. The customer isn't notified when you merge the accounts and profiles can't be merged if either profile has ever had a subscription contract, either of the profiles is a business to business customer 
actively link to a business or still link to past business to business orders. Either of the customer profiles has been redacted or a data redaction request is in progress. A customer profile merge is in progress or a customer data request is in progress. Now, most of the time you won't have to worry about merging too many accounts, but if you just want to clean up the back end or if a customer would like everything in one account, you can just easily do that for them.